Hello, this video is going to show you how to log into your VVC email account. So first, you will look at your welcome letter that was sent to you by the admissions office. It was sent to your personal email, and it included your student ID number, your VVC username, your password to get into My VVC, and it also gave you your full email address. So your student email account has already been set up for you. It's not something you have to create. You just need to log into it. It starts with your user ID at the beginning, and it's followed by at student.bbc.edu. It is a Gmail account, but instead of saying gmail.com down here, it's a special email for our school, and it's at student.bbc.edu. So make sure to remember your BBC email address. And up here on the password, your password has been set up with this format. It's based on your birthday, and it follows this format. It's the first three letters of the month that you were born in. The first letter is capital. The second and third letters are lowercase. It has two digits for your date of your birthday and all four digits for the year that you were born, and it has an exclamation mark. For most students, when they log into MyVVC, this password works. For some students, when they log into their email, which I'm about to show you, this full password works as well. But there are some students where they need to log in and use this password, but not put the exclamation point on the end. Um, so if, if you try it this way and it doesn't work, it says the password's incorrect. Um, you may try it without the exclamation mark, removing the exclamation mark, and for most students, that does make it work. So you will go to My VVC, and inside of My VVC is the student Gmail icon. Once you click on it, it's going to launch the Gmail login. And what you'll notice is that it already has at student.bbc.edu listed there. So all you need to do is type in the first part, your VVC username. And then you're going to go ahead and hit next. Type in the password. Again, type in the password with the exclamation mark. If it fails, then try it again without the exclamation mark. Nine times out of ten, that makes it work for students. And then you're going to hit next, and it should take you right into your email. Once you get logged into your email, the very first thing it's going to ask you to do is to enter in your cell phone number and your personal email address so that you have some recovery set up in case you ever forget your password to log into your student email account. This way you can use the forgot my password feature and it can text you a code or email you a code to your personal email address and you can get back in to your student email account without having to call our help desk. Um, that way you can resolve it as quickly as possible. And then from here on out, we expect you to be using your student email whenever you're connecting with the campus. And we will send your um, messages and updates strictly to your student email address. We will no longer use your personal email address for business with the college. Thanks for watching this and look out for other videos showing other features.